Simple Moving Average A simple moving average, SMA, is the unweighted mean of the previous N data. For example, to get a 50-day simple moving average, you add up all the price closings over the last 50 days and then divide by 50. Variations in the mean are aligned with the variations in the data rather than being shifted in time. When calculating successive values, a new value comes into the sum and the oldest value drops out. The period selected depends on the type of movement of interest, such as short, intermediate, or long term. In financial terms, moving average levels can be interpreted as support in a falling market or resistance in a rising market. Stochastic Oscillator A stochastic oscillator is a momentum indicator, comparing a particular closing price of a security to a range of its prices over a certain period of time. The sensitivity of the oscillator to market movements is reducible by adjusting that time period or by taking a moving average of the result. It is used to generate overbought and oversold trading signals, utilizing a 0 to 100 bounded range of values. MACD MACD, short for Moving Average Convergence Slash Divergence, is a trading indicator used in technical analysis of stock prices. It is designed to reveal changes in the strength, direction, momentum, and duration of a trend in a stock's price. The MACD indicator, or oscillator, is a collection of three time series, calculated from historical price data, most often of the closing price. These three series are the MACD series proper, the signal or average series, and the divergence series, which is the difference between the two. Strategy When detecting buy signals, you should be aware that moving averages show a bullish trading bias, with the 20-day SMA trading above the 150-day SMA. Stochastic oscillator moves below 20 to signal a pullback. MACD histogram moves into positive territory to signal an upturn after the pullback. Detecting sell signals is opposite. Moving averages show a bearish trading bias with the 20-day SMA trading below the 150-day SMA. Stochastic oscillator moves above 80 to signal a bounce. MACD histogram moves into negative territory to signal a downturn after the bounce. Here is an example with six signals over a 12-month period. There were four different trading biases on this chart. The yellow areas mark two periods with a bearish trading bias and two periods with a bullish trading bias. Bearish signals are ignored when the bias is bullish. On the contrary, bullish signals are ignored when the bias is bearish. After the stochastic oscillator signal pullbacks in March and April, the MACD histogram turned positive to trigger two bullish signals. These did not last long or work out well because trading was quite choppy. The thin blue lines mark support levels that could have been used for initial stops. A bearish bias started in June, with a bearish signal in mid-July occurring just before the bias switched to bullish. This was a tricky signal, but chartists setting a stop loss at resistance would have remained in the position and caught the big decline. After a couple more whipsaws, the strategy triggered a nice bullish signal in early December. Are these strategies applicable to you? How do you deploy them? Please leave a comment to share your opinion. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos of stock trading.